guess what guys new battery so let's go inside the old happy moho and i'll show you where we're going to put it This is the existing system, modified, to take into account the new battery. This was actually over here, about there actually, yeah, um, which didn't leave us enough space to put the new battery in, because we need this space here for other stuff. So, while I was moving there, I took advantage and put did some other alterations. I took the uh, socket from down here, which was a single, and put it up here, it's now a double. This socket is a supply from the hookup, 240 volt. So you can charge this battery from that when it's on hookup, and you better charge the new battery from that when it's on hookup as well. This also supplies another socket over there from the hookup for my breathing machine when I'm sleeping at night. Ah, you've got a CPAP machine. CPAP machine, yeah. The reason we bought a new battery pack was because our uh, leisure battery under the bonnet is an old, le well, it's not an old one, it's a new lead acid, but it's not that great for holding charging as it wears and gets older and it's only 60 60 ampere hours yeah it's only 60 ampere hours so sherry decided to have a look and see if we get a new battery pack up here which we could use to recharge the leisure battery while we're out and about at the moment we're using a fold-up solar panel which is fine but it can be a bit of a nuisance depending on where you're parked. I thought this would be better. We could have done it off of this, but then that would have discharged the battery we've got here, which is a how many? That's 500 watt hours. 500 watt hour battery we've got here. But we need it actually for the CPAP machine more than anything else. Putting this in means we can have a backup for the leisure battery and we can charge our laptops, our phones and tablets and everything else from this as well. And we can have the input from our solar panels on the seat, on the roof of the motorhome, which come in via here at the moment, to charge this up. We can use that also on this new battery. So once I get going, I'll keep you updated on how it's gone and how I'm going to fix it here, obviously, because I'm sitting under here. And That's Pete's you know, seat. I don't want this landing on me head when we're going along. This one I've bolted on. That's never coming off, even if the whole motorhome turns upside down. I tend to over-engineer things slightly. You do when Sherry your head's... Tells me. You do when your head's concerned. What I've done is I've put some angle iron on a base plate of plywood and then made up, and you see here, a piece of strapping bolted down through the base plate to hold the battery in place and that's not going anywhere. Then I've screwed the base plate down onto the shelf here. And that is really solid. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing for this one and have that beside there. We can get at the inputs here. We can see all the cabins on the front, so all the readouts and the sockets around the side there. And I think that'd be just great. See you later guys. Let you know when I get it done. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye.